BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Are you saving for your child's college education? If so, consider a 529 plan. To find your options, visit savingforcollege.com. You will find a comprehensive list of other states' plans along with details, rankings, tools, and calculators. That's savingforcollege.com. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Farmers Policy Perks are that little extra something you can get when you're a farmer's customer. So to tell you about them, we're adding a little extra something to this ad. A backup singer. Ooh, singer. When you have the Farmer's Signal app with Crash Assist. Crash Assist. If you have an auto accident. We can send help if you want it. Wow, that sounds like a whole lot of something. Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state. Only available select farmers branded policies subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges or Affiliate. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Teaming up with Mary's Place, doing kicks for kids. Yeah, you know, it's getting colder. Well, I mean, it will be getting colder. It doesn't feel like it right now, but yeah, you know, school's starting for a lot of kids. The weather's going to start turning, and, you know, nobody wants holy shoes. These kids need to have brand new sneakers, brand new kicks, and that's what Mary's Place is helping us do. Any donation helps. If you want to be part of the 69 crew, you just want to give a buck, you want to give a hundred bucks. Shout out to Marcy R joining the 69 crew. You're talking about a hundred bucks. I mean, we got a, we got the Hundy Club. I guess, what are they, the Big Bens? The Big I Bens, I like it. Jordan G, Alex H, Heather M, Brandon as well, all donating over a hundred dollars. And a massive shout out to a couple people I just saw on our page. Uh, they donated... Sean B donated five hundred bucks. Tim B two hundred bucks. Whoa! It's pretty awesome, man. We've been starting to raise a lot of money recently, and I can't thank the Rockaholics enough for that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Keep it news. coming, baby. Yeah. So if you'd like to donate, or at least get the word out on your socials, so that your friends will figure it out, maybe they can help us. Just go to kisw.com. Kicks for kids. Let's get some shoes on these kids. They need it. Let's play. Whack him instead, because it's Wednesday. Whack it. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Mr. Wacky on a Whack It Wednesday. See if we can make it happen and get a win for uh, the contestant and get a song for BJ. Okay. Yeah. All of this sounds great to me. (laughs) Let's get to our contestant. We got Jason in Des Moines. Uh, Jason, are you there? I am. Excellent. All right, Steve. Get out of (laughs) here. For those playing at home, Jason will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Jason, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's do it. Who played the title character in the romantic comedy There's Something About Mary? Good story. No. Uh, Cameron Diaz. Yes. What unusual feature does a polydactyl cat have? Uh, six... Yes. Who was the last Beatle to get married for the first time? George Harrison. No. Uh, Ringo. No. Paul McCartney. Yes. On what network did the show Mad About You originally air? ABC. What was that? ABC. No. NBC. Yes. Canberra is the capital of which country? Uh, Australia. Yes. What French heroine was burned at the stake at 1431? Some witch. <laughs> Massachusetts. No. Uh, Mary Brethren. I don't know. No. Pass. According to the Bible, how many of each animal made it on the ark? 
two. Yes. How many legs does an ant have? Four. No. One, two, ah. three, four, five, six. Correct. Oh, some of those, Jason, you're going to be like, I wish I had him. I wish I had him again. Yeah. It could be the difference makers. It could be. But you never know. I mean, it's Steve, and uh, this week has been up and down for him. He's done really well sometimes and has done absolutely terrible other times. Oh, is that what up and down means? Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. I'm trying to put some sort of thing on it. I don't know. Oh, you trying to put a thing on it? Put a thing on uh, it. I have no idea. Well, that's right. You know what? If you, if you want to be married to Steve, you better put a thing on it. That's oh, yeah. Right. Wow. Hey, are you ready? Oh, yes. Who played the title character in the romantic comedy There's Something About Mary? Oh, uh, Mary. Uh, Cameron Diaz. Yes. Nice. What unusual feature does a polydactyl cat have? Two tails? No. <laughs> Whoa, that'd be weird. I don't know. A yeah. more um, bunch of stuff. Uh, that's no. it. Another foot. No. Oh. Who was the last Beatle to get married for the first time? I don't know. John Lennon? No. Uh, Paul McCartney? Yes. Good On job. what network did the show Mad About You originally air? NBC. NBC. Yes. Canberra is the capital of what country? Canberra, capital of uh, Pakistan? No. Japan? No. Canberrasville. No. Yes. What French heroine was burned at the stake at 1431? Is that, um, oh, Attila the Hun? No. Um, Attila the Hun. Like <laughs> Marie Antoinette? No. Um, uh, close. Uh, I'm going to go Taylor Swift. No. According to the Bible, how many of each animal made it on the Two. ark? Yes. How many legs does an ant have? Six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. You lose, Steve. Oh. Six to five. Nice going, Jason. Five. Woo. Woo. Thank you, sir. I get a song. Wow. And, you know, we, get a, yeah. we, get a, we get a good one, too. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Lovely. Did you, uh, man, did you inadvertently give us a clue in a later question uh, about the lady? It was inadvertent, but yeah. when I noticed it uh, previously, I thought, oh, no, that's still pretty good. Yeah. So yes. I, I thought, yeah, like, that might be a little, you know, if, if you say the word arc, you might go, wait, hey, wait a second. Exactly. Yeah. Ricky uh, knows this one. Yep. Yes. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc was that French heroine. Uh, and then the next question was about an arc. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. See, you didn't get it, Steve. <laughs> well, uh, you know. There's a couple <laughs> things you didn't get. Uh, Jason did get that it, Canberra is the capital of Australia. That I did not know. Oh, see, look and at I that. probably will forget by yeah. the time you ask it again. Yeah, it's not really that important. Uh, and then the unusual feature that a polydactyl cat has is extra toes. Usually they'll have six toes on their fingers. That's oh, really weird. Six toes on their fingers? I mean, six toes on their paws. Oh, okay. Six toes on their fingers. You mean six weird. digits is what you're saying? Sure, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if they're called toes, but in other words, they have six little appendages yeah, and digit toes. things. When I okay. see balloons with cats, like, let me see your toesies when we do the. Uh, is that little, what you uh, say? I don't really need to hear the baby yeah. talk with you and your cats. That's yeah. not something I well, really want to do. Well, we got to clip their nails. You got to kind of treat them like a baby. I really don't want to hear about it. You got to carry them and hold yeah. them and make sure. Have you tried the trick that some people do oh, when, they, when they're trimming their, their pet's nails? No. Uh, they put on a hat and smear some peanut butter on the hat. And then your your dog, typically, that's where I've seen it, oh. is so preoccupied with licking the peanut butter off the hat that you're able to trim their nails. Ooh, I don't without know. Without them being, like, all weird about yeah, it. That'll be interesting. We might try that. <laughs> that is a very interesting thing. I mean, you don't need a hat. You can just smear it on your head. Yeah. I mean, oh, I got that's the even spot, better. so that'll work right there. I think I'll do the hat. Just don't yeah. film it. I never want to see that on the internet. No. <laughs> I don't want to see peanut butter on any part of your body. Thank you. <laughs> well, congrats to Jason on beating Steve. Yeah, man. Oh, there you go. There's a woman right there. She, uh, she, she made, like, a hat out of saran wrap. She oh, wrapped okay. her head with saran wrap. Okay. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that she and there's, just, there's oh. a dog licking her head as she's trimming its nails. Oh! That's, you know what? Just like a human being, just distract me. You can do a lot of things if I'm distracted. I mean, yeah, that's what I have to do. Like, my wife has to put peanut butter on her head when I'm cutting my toenails. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that video will never be on the internet. Oh, I think we should put it on the internet. Yeah. That's a fact. Uh, got a new survey. They said, okay, folks, here's a question for you. Is it acceptable... To yes. have sex with your partner when you're staying in the guest bedroom at someone's house, which a lot of us are not doing these days, I imagine. But uh, when we go back to being, you know, COVID free and we can all go visit people, is it acceptable to have sex in the guest bedroom? Yes. I, okay, I was going to say. Absolutely. I think guest bedroom's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I kind of expect that if someone like, even with the Rev, when he was staying at my house at one time, <laughs> and maybe if he would have not made love to himself on my workout bench, that yeah, would have been nice. That would have but been I really didn't nice. do it in your bedroom. He didn't do it in the bedroom, and but he did. I think he did make some sweet loving with your lady in the, the in the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. And when he brought, I that did not bother me one bit. I kind of expected it. 
Oh, wow. I think the only time... I mean, I had videos running for a reason. Oh, okay. That's a good point. I had thought about that. Yeah. yeah. I'd you say it's a nanny cam or some other kind of cam. <laughs> Fanny cam. <laughs> uh, the only time I think it's not cool is if it's like someone's office and they put in like an inflatable mattress or like a kid's room or something where it's not really a guest room. You're just using uh, it as a guest room. Oh. You don't think it's good when it's the kid's room? Right. Like, I, like for me, like I have designed and built up my guest room to be a guest room. Yeah, okay. I mean, we'll, we'll, Feel free to have whatever but if it's in, in office, you want. But if it's an office or another, it's really not a full a full fledged guest bedroom. Yeah. Then that's where you draw the line. Yeah, well, I don't like but, that rule. Yeah, I mean the air mattress. I'd rather be doing it on the air mattress than the actual mattress. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Like because huh. I'm just if, that, if that's like my office and you're sleeping in it, it's like okay. I guess they like like you know swept off like the stuff off your desk and just like railed there that would be amazing oh I would want to see that That's what, if there's somebody's office prints. I'm doing that <laughs> oh, God. that's like why I'm inviting everything. nobody over to my house when I lived in a one bedroom for the past like three and a half years so at that point when guests came over they had to li- stay in the living room on an air mattress I just expected it oh uh. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you do. Like, there's nowhere else they're going to do it, and they're on vacation. Like, I had some friends come visit me for St. Patrick's Day and stuff. It's like, yeah, they're getting it on after St. Patrick's Be Day. Be an I adult and get a hotel room <sighs> if you're sleeping on someone's couch. Like, I wouldn't do it on someone's couch. Like, and it's me. I think it depends on like how long it's been. <laughs> you know, like if you haven't had it for a while, and then uh, you're on your couch. <laughs> On the like, couch, on, like somebody else on the couch you sit on, you're like okay with them having action. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to encourage it, BJ. But I'm not going to get like super mad. Oh <laughs> uh, no, care. I don't want anybody doing it on my I'd, couch. I'd rather them do it in the bathroom or like in the shower. I would uh-huh. probably. I would like just send them out in the yard. <laughs> So, <laughs> I send the dog Back out the yard here. Yard. Yard. Do it where Lulu goes potty. Exactly. Can you get take up her poop while you're at it? Yeah. <laughs> How flexible are you? Stay off the patio furniture too, God dang it. Well, I'd have sex at all of your guys' houses, so there you go. Not mine. Not mm-hmm. going to do it. We don't invite anybody over, so Sarah you never have to worry sh- about this. <laughs> Sarah, has Danny had sex over at our house while I've been out of town? Why are you asking Sarah? Because I want to know if Danny's been over. <laughs> Sarah says probably. Has he stayed the night at your house? Danny. No, I have not. Good. Oh, yeah, Danny's, by the way, not invited to the house, just so you know. <laughs> okay? That's it. Thank you. So it says sex in a guest room matters whose house it is. I'm not having sex in my sister's house, and I hope they're not doing it in my house. Oh, why does that matter? I mean, there's so weird rules. If you're going to let people have sex in your house, who cares if it's... Well, like parents' house. Like, if I go back to my parents, you're not going to? No, like, I'm thinking if I went to my grandma's house in Mexico, and I'm like, this is like my mom's childhood bedroom. I'm not. No, I can't. Ooh, that would be like a sort of like a little achievement. You get one of those little Xbox achievements that go off. <laughs> it's a different type of Pokemon. <laughs> we can't all seem to really come to an agreement on this, which means uh, this is a, a very weird issue for each person. See, I've done it at my mom's house, like while she was in the other room sleeping. Yeah. So, I mean, at that point, there's no, there's no Let's difference. Let's be honest. I mean, when you were by yourself, you were doing it at your mom's house. What's yeah. the difference? Yeah, yourself? I've done way worse at my parents' house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and my okay. grandmother saw it. Yeah, she did. <laughs> That poor yeah. Lady. Oh, your poor grandmother. She's probably still not in heaven because of that. What do you think she's just in purgatory because of what you witnessed? <laughs> yes. I mean, look, we cannot let we cannot let you in, ma'am. You you've seen too much. <laughs> you've seen too much. That is a visual, though. I'll never forget. Oh. Good night, Steve. And okay. Get out of my room, Grandma. Oh, <laughs> Grandma's like, wow. She got run over by a reindeer on that one. <laughs> Uh, all right, it is time for listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. We got your calls and texts at 917 on the Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on the Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, the Rock of Seattle. It is listeners on the loose this is where you pick the topic you guide the show so if you got something to say and you say no one will listen to me well you're gonna get everybody to listen to you but you still have to follow steve's rules and yeah, so show some energy and bring it otherwise we're gonna have to gong you and then say goodbye goodbye old friend 206 421 rock texas at 77999 uh before we even take any text maybe we could play a new fun game and uh what is vicky looking at on our computer <laughs> oh is that a new fun game oh, yes no. uh, uh, because i look over to the left of me and it looks like vicky are you shopping for adult sized yeah. wheelies shoes that have wheels on them so i found this article it says like things tiktok made me buy and i'm just like what are the kids buying these days and they look like they're really weird looking roller shoes like, the wheels are in the middle. They're not in yeah. the back like the old wheelie things I remember from my childhood. And they're the weirdest and kind of ugliest looking shoes I've ever seen. And the wheelies, it's just like one wheel and you kind of like ride on your heels. Mm-hmm. Or the heelies. Yeah. They're yeah. heelies. Sorry, yeah. not wheelies. 
Like These are actually wheels. like quads where you have two wheels in front, two wheels in back. Yeah. Okay. They're and they look like P. Carroll shoes. Right? <laughs> and they're like 125 bucks. Well, I mean, that seems like a steal if you ask me. Uh, so are you going to buy them so you can roller skate around? Yes. I kind, I kind of want the little kid ones, the ones that you put over your shoes. I think I'd rather those. They're like 15 bucks. Okay. Like the Fisher Price. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my first roller skates. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't. Ki- I don't get kids these days. You need to get them, and then we need to film you wearing them, using them. Here's the thing: it's got 79 reviews, and I mean, uh, mostly it looks like four and a half stars. So, uh, I mean, it's 79 people that bought these, at least. Yeah, give or take. Would you guys use these? No. If they're given to you for free? No. I don't know, man. <laughs> I would wipe out and die. I, I just don't. know it. Yes. They they do look like the dad. Like I'm about to go grilling shoes. If you know what those look like. Yeah, oh yeah, they're the Pete Carroll shoes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, happy and, uh, birthday, Pete, one day late, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, Pete. <laughs> What's he, 70 now? I don't even know. I think he, he's yeah, 70, yeah. man. He's got the energy of a 40-year-old. Gosh, I think he was close to 70. I thought he was 69, the nice age. Oh, he's 69 right now. Oh, he turned 69. Nice. 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 All right, good job, Pete. <laughs> Have a nice year. <laughs> Well, it's starting off pretty well with the way the Seahawks played uh, last week. And how about Russell Wilson? One texture just texted us. Did you guys hear Russell Wilson, Offensive Player of the Week? Yeah, I would think. I, of course he is. He should. Yeah, I mean, he did everything right. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think Tom Brady should have got it because I think some people are offended oh. that he's now playing football. Yeah, for Tampa right. Bay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about that's the 10th time for Russell Wilson? Ten times, huh? Boy, not bad for a kid that was not supposed to be the guy. Another texter says, is anyone else impressed by the amount of hair that Russell Wilson's kid has? Yeah, I have not seen a picture of uh, what's his name? Win, little Win. I haven't seen little Win's uh, picture in a while. I don't know. Oh, dude, it's it's insane. So cute. How, got, old, how old is he? I, I don't know. Old? He's got the hair of a fifty year old. He's got the hair. Actually, of more of a, like a twenty year old. Oh, I have seen that picture. Yeah, yeah it's an adorable picture of him in his you know the Russell Wilson jersey with the little love, you're like, right now padded that, pants. He's got a a full head of hair. You're right, he does have a full There's, head of hair. You think I'll, I don't uh, think I ever had that much hair. Or he's got a professional stylist. It, may, it might even be a comb over. I'm, it's too soon to tell. Yeah, he I, yeah, he's got the eye black on him. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. It's adorable. Yeah, and he uh, he looks like a little baby Russ. And frankly, well, it's probably a good thing. Uh, yeah. He looks like his dad is what you're trying to say. Yeah, huh? I mean, but, amazing you know, I mean, how that is. It's just, I mean, but that young of an age, you know what I mean? Maybe because he's got the football uniform on and the eye black, but he just looks like a little mini. Oh, Russ. He doesn't just look like an alien like most babies do yeah. at that age. Most okay, babies yeah. look like aliens. Oh, he looks like mini Russ. Bit of the, the, the baby alien look to him. All right, baby <laughs> alien mini Russ. That's awesome. Do you think you realize looking at that picture right now, we could be looking at another star athlete because it happens a lot. Where you know a kid is born from a you know an athlete an athlete parent oh no pressure and they go on to three be a month old How well old? I mean you know you had Ken Griffey Ken Griffey Jr. Mm-hmm. I mean there's a lot of uh, D Gordon I realized was the is the son of uh, you know uh, Tom Gordon and Tom Flash Gordon was a great pitcher you, you're seeing somebody who could be major league or you know in this case an NFL player who knows it's about two months old I'm just oh, saying yeah, no Itty pressure bitty. it's starting to t- how's the spiral on that kid. Eh, they need some work. Okay. So we got 24, say 24 years, you know, in the, uh, before we see if that kid's actually an NFL caliber quarterback. I would say so, right? That's pretty nuts. I'm going to keep my eye on him. I just want to squish his face. <laughs> He's cute. I'm actually just telling, uh, t- I'm, I'm just telling John Schneider, John, why don't you sign the kid Just now? draft him now. Just draft him now. Come on. I mean, it's better than some of their first round picks. That's for sure. And you know he, he, you know he comes from good stock and right. you know that his dad will teach him how to prepare. He'll contribute more than Malik McDowell. Yeah, that's a fact. Keep him off the ATVs. Yeah. I also want to know if we've seen that Corey Taylor is going to have a a virtual concert called Forum or Against Him at the LA Forum on October 2nd. I just got my shirt, ticket, and laminate for 35 bucks yesterday. And it's virtual. Yeah, I saw that he posted this really cool video of him, like just talking about how times have changed and all this kind of stuff. And and he's going to do a show at the Forum. And it's just going to be him and the people producing the show, and no one's going to be there. And his band, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. That's about all I know. All right. But I think it's cool. I mean, bands are trying to find something. You got to do somebody. something. Yeah, you got to do something, not only for them, but for their fans. Like, I I just recently paid whatever it was, and I went to that Pearl Jam concert at T-Mobile Park, but they just put a, a high-quality uh, video of it, and it was only available to stream for a couple of days during Labor Day weekend. And it was like 14 bucks, and I was like, no, I don't want to spend this. I already lived it. But I was like, screw it. I miss concerts, and I... Put it on and just like just sat back and enjoyed. Like, it felt like didn't feel like being at the concert. Who am I kidding? But it was still really nice. <laughs> I feel like though, if you saw the show, 
it's a little better than if you hadn't seen the show. Like you, you, you can almost feel like you are there because you were there. So it brings yeah. back those memories rather than I mean, I mean, as opposed to just putting on a show that I wasn't at. But I don't think you're much of a live music listening kind of guy. Like as far as like on video yeah, not, or or a CD me. or something or, or digital, you know. Yeah. I, I enjoy watching live performances and like just around my house I'll put on a concert from a band that I like and just let it play in the background on YouTube so was it a little different though knowing you were there oh it was cool because there was a few goosebone moments I'm like because I remembered exactly what this part happened or that part happened but it was yeah. cool to be able to see them up close yeah that's nice I'll pay for live streams anytime. Like, just because, like, it's helping the artists, number one, your favorite artists. And at that point, too, it's actually really, like, it's a lot cheaper. Like, one of my favorite bands, New Found Glory, is doing one on Saturday or next Saturday, and it's only $10. And at that point, I'm like, I would have spent $60 to go to a show at mm-hmm. the show box for them. And I'm not saying I won't go to live shows when it does, but at that point, it's $10, and I can watch it on a Saturday. Yeah, just whenever you want. Yeah, you just kind of chill and, and enjoy the moment. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty legit because certain packages with Corey Taylor, you can do like a virtual meet and greet and just chat with him along with like well, a his re- Wi-Fi works right a replica belt <laughs> and <a> shirt <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the repl- replica belt. It's awesome. Oh, I'm jealous. And I think uh, I, I saw somewhere. Isn't Sully doing something? Sully Erna and somebody else. Sully and Aaron from Stained are revisiting the '90s. No, or the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, those two guys are actually doing. Uh, I think they're doing one of those drive-in yep. um, concert series where they're going to perform at a drive-in. Yeah. I don't know if it's virtual only or if they're actually going to go to places. And it's not going to be a performance from Sully and then a performance from Aaron Lewis. The two of them are going to be on stage at the same time. Oh, that's cool. And they're just going to like jam, play some of their own songs, and probably do some covers as well. That'd be kind of cool if you could actually go to an outdoor venue and see them. I know a lot of stand-up comics are doing that, you know, doing like parking lot shows. That'd be nice. It's just something. It's It's something to get out of the house. and, and Yeah. Yeah. You got to do something, man. 206-421-ROCK, Texas at 77999. It's listeners on the loose. So it says, my name is Joe Hedrick. I'm currently admitted into the Madigan Army Medical Center, recovering from a nine-hour operation on what's left of my intestine. Will y'all give me a shout-out? Thanks, you guys. You're the best. Dude, congratulations. Well, I mean, congratulations might be the wrong thing, but uh, good luck to you, and congratulations coming out on the positive side of all this once it's all done. Heal up? Yeah. I mean, that's uh, that's some major stuff right there. And uh, thanks for listening, bro. Lots of love towards you. It just makes me think of like the intestinal fortitude, brother, of wrestling. Oh, Get the intestine. You were going to do that, huh? I, I don't know. I was just I, trying. I, thanks for I thought I felt bad for a minute, but you know what? Thanks for coming through. I think he knows. If he's texting the idiots, the idiots yeah, are going to say point. stuff. That's a good point. We are idiots. He's, you're right about that. Oh, somebody needs some advice. Oh, no. All right. Well, Vicky's here. Yay. Well, actually, it's a question for the lady. So maybe, uh, Sarah, if she could pop on in. Come on great. in, Sarah. 206 421 Rock, Texas at 77999. It is listeners on the loose. You pick the topic, you guide the show. Okay, they said, Good morning, everyone. I have a question for the ladies, but gentlemen, feel free to comment as well. I've been trying to find the best way to initiate coitus with my wife, but I'm an idiot in the bedroom and I don't know what to look for or the proper lingo to initiate it. Any suggestions? How are you? What? Wait, what is he trying to initiate? Having sex. Sex. Oh, and they're married? Yes. Wow, your wife must be a saint. Like, talk to her. Like, I mean, sometimes it's just an inside joke. Like, you do, like, the raised eyebrow, like, hey, hey. Like, it, it, I feel like at this point you have, like, a way to do it. Otherwise, have you not had sex yet? For me, I'm just really blunt about it. I was never very smooth. Me. Exactly. <laughs> Babe. Well, I can't say it really on the radio what I actually say to him, but it's exactly, it's, it's almost exactly like that. I think your father appreciates that you can't. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Dad. But it, yeah, I was never really smooth with like, mm, let me just kiss your neck or something. No, I'm always like, babe, <laughs> let's do it. I think that's uh, the, the moral of the story is I think he might be just overthinking it. Yeah. You know, I mean, he might think that like his wife needs some kind of like, you know, why me, die me kind of thing. And for all we know, she just needs the... Just need uh, just tell her yeah. or a back massage is usually a oh, good that starter. That always gets it going too. I wonder if it was one of those situations where they've been married for a while and she's just gotten to the point of being like, "Babe, you never initiate sex anymore. So unless, if we're going to do it, you need to initiate with me." Like, but at that point, it's once again communication. Like, ask her like, what, what do you, what do you like? want me to do? Yeah. Just do the old poke thing. That's what I do. Oh. <laughs> No. Wow. Wake me up. If you wake me up with that, oh my God. It's kind of like, you know, remember uh, Big Bang Theory, the show? Yes. yes. <laughs> Penny. Yeah. Penny. Do not Penny. do that. Wow. That's what you do. What are you talking about? Do not. It, it works, works from. It, wow. Good for your wife. Yeah. Oh, man. If you're going to wake me up, from 100% my of the time, sleep. it kind of sometimes works. <laughs> 100% of the time. Let's be honest. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> just depends on the morning. No, just a little... <laughs> Oh, man, no. That, no, no. Guess not for me. I'd like to know the age of this person because I think generationally it's a whole different ball game. I really, really do. Uh, first of all, you know, Sarah and Vicky, you are atypical women. I am not sure there are as many women out there, at least in, I know in my generation, where they will initiate. And Brene Brown has written in her latest book, Daring Greatly, uh, Daring, yeah, Daring Greatly, where rejection is one of the worst things that men can feel sexually. So if they ever get turned down, and if it is on a regular basis, and, and this is the trouble nowadays is because obviously no means no. The problem is, is that if a man is told no in that department by his wife, it's very crushing, and she's done research to find this out, that it is one of the worst things for a man to be rejected sexually by his partner, that he just says, you know what, I'm not going to ask anymore. It's too crushing of a feeling for me to be turned down all the time by someone who supposedly loves me, so they turn to something else, and then women complain, like, why aren't you approaching me anymore? Because they don't understand how crushing it is for a man. They just don't get it either. It's like, it's a psychological thing that both sides don't know. There's no bad guy here. It's just that it's a phenomenon, and I'm really so excited that you know, that uh, Brene Brown did all of her, her, her psychological research on this. It's made me feel a little better to go, oh, all right, let me be a little braver, knowing that it's not personal, but it's just a thing that I got going on, but I can, it's just a thing that a lot of my brothers have. So maybe just like post up on her and be like, I was just reading Brene Brown, and she yes. says, <laughs> yeah. Rejection is not good. It really hurts my feelings. I am going to have that conversation. Try not to reject these boys. (laughs) All a day. I might not use that voice, but I'm going to have that conversation with my wife because we are from a different generation. How about this person says, first step, probably stop calling it coitus. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's true. Hey, you. Yeah. I didn't would, even know what that meant. Would you like, like some coitus, what? Sarah? Yeah, Sarah like, didn't with me. I would see. I would have no idea what the hell you're talking about. I'd be like, I guess. Sure. It's like, sure, we can order Indian food. That's fine. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> what is that? I only want one spice on it, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so just start rubbing up on her. I've right. never been turned down. Lol. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You guys. You the poke and the rubbing up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say about all that. All right. Because it doesn't. Good luck with your coitus. I will tell you this: the poke and the rubbing up and down, whatever, it doesn't always work. It no, it doesn't work a lot of the time. Yeah, but it's, those it, guys, I guess, they're cool with like getting rejected. They're like, let me just try. There is, there is a maybe five right. percent chance this is going to work. Right. I'm not. I'm not going to door. More often than not, no one's opening. But you but, never know. Oh, see, I, I one I, time that person might want to buy this magazine. I am exactly. not. I know they're home. <laughs> See, I know they're home and they don't want to buy the magazine. See, that's different with me, Steve. No I'm not open yeah. that door for you. You're exactly. Not stepping, you're not even stepping on the porch. You're afraid yeah. the ring cam will pick you up. Exactly. So I'm out. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go. F- I don't even want to sell these magazines anymore. I'll read the magazine myself. Oh. You pick the topic. You guide the show. It is listeners on the loose. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Your calls, your texts at 933 on the Rock. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Talking about money with our kids often begins and ends with, how much do you need? Start by helping them learn the difference between needs, such as clothing, and wants, such as money to go to a concert. Share with them how you go about managing your money and what you are saving for and why. Don't be afraid to share the mistakes you have made along the way. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. With Farmers, you could get savings just for becoming a customer. It's a little extra something. So to tell you about it, we're adding a little extra something to this ad. Precious baby giggles. (laughs) When you switch to Farmers, you could save an average of $437 on your home insurance. And that's a whole lot of something, baby. Ah, get a quote at Farmers.com. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Based on average nationwide annual savings survey data July 2020 to 21, underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges or Affiliate, products not available in every state. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topple. You, uh, topple. You pick the topic. You guide the show. That's what you do. That's true, yeah. 206 421 Rock. Text us at 77999. Uh, so we want to know hey, Steve, Danny, Rev, are you going to get your Mariners cutouts? Oh, hell yes. Like the email was sent out yesterday. Oh, you can get them? Yes. That, they say take a survey. If you get this email and you have a cardboard cutout there, you click on it and you just decide. The survey is will you do you want your cutout or don't you? And do you want it recycled? 
So, of course, I'm not, I don't want it recycled. I want my cutout of baby Tatum. Yeah. So then they're going to, I guess at some point. So if you had a cutout, look for the email from the Mariners and fill it all out. And then at some point, they're going to tell you like a window of time where you could come and get it. Yeah. Nice. Are you all getting your cutouts? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any ideas of where you're going to put the cutout? I thought just um, in the studio somewhere. So you guys have to stare at me even when I'm not here and stuff. Oh, oh, that's wow. not where the cutout's going. Yeah, it's oh, going to go put right Carl here. right here in the window. That's oh, a, no, that's great, yes. too. You guys put it there. and we'll. It, I, it'll, it, I don't know what will happen to it, but something will happen to it. I'm bringing mine home. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the garage. So as I pull in, the first yeah. thing I see is baby Tatum. I can't Aww. wait to see a picture of baby Tatum with baby Tatum. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's like Inception. I don't think I can handle that. See, I told Carl about this yesterday. It didn't seem like he cared that much. So I, I don't know where I'm going to put it in the house. I can't do this anymore. I mean, he's seriously deluded in the head. Who? Anyway, Carl or the yeah, rest? No, Carl's yeah, the one. Yeah, we'll talk to Carl that way. Carl's fine. Carl's the one that was like, "What is wrong with you?" I bet mean, you know. If I, I mean, Carl's probably just like, "I get out of this house. These are these are crazy people." Two zero six four two one. Rock text us at seven seven nine nine nine. It's listeners on the loose. You pick the topic. You guide the show. Uh, so I was uh, wondering, what do you guys think about the new a- Apple stuff? Anyone getting it? I uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I um, I mean they are I mean they are opened up, so I, I have no idea how long it's gonna take to get into an Apple store. I've seen lines. I am not a fan of having to wait in line. You don't for, have to go to an Apple store to get the new Apple products, man. Yeah, but when it comes to like set my phone up, I really I, I like them to set it up. This has nothing to do with phones, the new Apple products. It's there's no phone at all coming out? I didn't realize. I just not made the yet. assumption there not, is because not yet because the iOS is already updating. That's why I just right. assumed there was a new iPhone coming out because of the new iOS. Yesterday, the big to do was the new uh, Apple watches and also the iPads. Oh, oh, an iPad. I do need a new iPad. They got all the iPads for you. Oh, iPad, iPad Air, and yeah. yeah what's the story with the Apple Watch? It's like uh, what do you? Because you, you have an Apple Watch, right? Yeah. Conveniently, my battery stopped working on my Apple Watch like hey, three days ago. Shocking. Nice, dude. Like, no, I'm okay. I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I joke about that. Whenever like you get the new update on your phone, all of a sudden your battery power starts sucking, and then you're at the point where you're like, I should just get a new phone. And I feel like people have talked to Apple about this whole phenomenon already. So it's a, if you still feel like that's happening, that ain't good. One day my battery on my my watch was working just fine, and then all of a sudden a few days ago I had it on. I'm like, what weird? Like why is it not like? Am I not getting anything? I keep tapping on it. It shows like the dead battery sign or the oh. battery's low. I'm like, I charged it this morning, so I charged it again. Next day, same exact thing. I'm like, that sucks. I got to get myself a new Apple Watch. Two days later, what do they do? Mm-hmm. We have new Apple Watches, and they're really fancy. I'm having that with my earbuds. They just don't hold the charge as long as they used to. Well, I bet you know they're going to unveil some new earbuds soon. <laughs> yeah, you probably, probably did yesterday. They probably, probably did. All right, so they've got this new uh, three-tiered bundle that also puts Apple Music, iCloud, and other recurring services under one subscription. And uh, Danny was saying he's thinking about doing that because the new Apple Watch you can you get you can subscribe to like Apple Fitness. It's like ten bucks a month, and it'll give you workouts. Oh, they come on your phone. That way, you know, you can monitor yourself. Uh, that's not necessarily what I use mine for, but I think it's cool that they have different ways to rate like your oxygen level, your heart level. So they're trying to be more fitness based. Does these. all that? Yeah. Damn. Well, the, the the special one. They have a few different types of Apple Watches. Well, the one where you want to drop four bills, yeah, that's the one you got. The four bill Apple Watch. There's a four bill Apple Watch. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? I think that's about what they've been. I, I'm not. That's a lot of. It's oh. been many years since I paid. Oh, it's four hundred. I was thinking four thousand. Four hundred is better than four thousand. No. no, four dollars. Four dollar bills. Yeah, yeah four dollar bills. Yeah. Okay. So I was like, geez, man. Yeah. About six of them already. Well, this new service bundle where they're having that three tier situation. A lot of folks are criticizing Apple, saying it's very anti-competitive, which, you know, when you get to be a big company and you want to basically make as much money as you can, you do sort of run into that like, well, you've got to crush the competition. And then there's a legal and illegal way to do that. And now folks are really questioning whether this is legal or illegal. So I don't what know. is illegal about this? Because they're doing stuff that's going to make it so you really want to have their services. Yeah, I don't know. And I heard Spotify's mad at them, but Spotify's a competitor. Yeah, no point of beating your competition. I know this is well, and then Make there's of course watch Spotify. We have monopoly <laughs> wars, you know, and you can't, you know, the, the antitrust and all this ridiculousness yeah. that keep people from really just edging out the competition. If you remember, uh, is Internet Explorer and Netscape, and there was all that battle because they made they made their ex, they made their browser free when you bought some Microsoft OS systems back in the day. You had no reason you had no reason to go get Netscape, and so Netscape complained like, "Well, yeah, you're doing this, mm-hmm. but see, that was our business." You're in just a, you're in the hardware business. This is a software thing we're doing. Thanks, Microsoft. And so I wonder if people are looking at Apple Music that way. You know, going like, what are you doing with all the subscription stuff? We're a subscription based model. You're a product model. What are you doing? 
I mean, some people have brought up, and I have to, it is frustrating, like, because I have an old iPad, but then you get to a point where it's like, you can't use this app because you don't have the, you can't, yeah. you need iOS 6.9 or whatever it is at this point. Nice. It's like 14 something. And then also I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to download it. And I go on my thing and it says, your, your iPad is only compatible and able to download up to this point. I'm like, well, now I can't get the app unless I buy the new app. Exactly. I, that kind of stuff. You have to see how old skin. your thing is. If your iPad is older than five years... It, it should last forever, man. If I want it to last forever, I should be allowed yeah. to let it last forever. I feel, you know, look, in, in five years, I think is still decent. But if it's older than five years, if you're closer to 10 years old with any of your Apple products, you can't expect it to work with anything. 10 years is, a, 10 years is like a century in technology time. I grew up in a time where you had one television set for 30 years. I'll tell you, 30 years we <laughs> had in my day. day. These, these Apple kids need to get off my lawn. Get off my lawn with your but Give me that new watch, please. I like it. Yeah, I would just uh, I would just like to make a request to Apple. Hopefully this new update will fix my reminders. I'm having a devil of a time with the reminders ever since I bought my iPhone last year. I don't know what it is with What's me. What's wrong with your reminders? Is they it not reminding you? It doesn't work for a long time. It takes like 30 seconds to get the thing to even like open to my reminder. And I don't know what it is. And, and I, I've been wanting to go into a store and talk to them about it. But mm-hmm. I, I've always just, it's been that, there's been some software glitches with the reminder app ever since uh, the iPhone 11, the one that I have, which mm-hmm. was the newest one last year. And I've been waiting a year and I'm still just the guy going, why is, everything else is fine. But this reminder app, and not everybody uses it. I talked to you guys, none of you use the reminder no, app. I, I do. I saw you had it open the other day and I thought it was funny what you have reminders for. Oh, I got reminders for everything. Yeah. But I want to show you just how like, long. I, I think it said, Grab wallet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every morning. Because one morning I forgot my wallet that has my key to the building. So I was like, I better put a reminder on there because I'll forget. That's a pretty important one, actually. And by the way, when you get to be (laughs) at the tender age of 60 years old, you you start forgetting stuff. Oh, great. This is the greatest thing of all. Yeah, I use the reminders, too. Now, watch this. You see, I just opened this up. I'm going to just click on this. All right. And you're going to see how long it takes to do this. Oh, that was quick. Damn it, boom! <laughs> <laughs> what? It so never it's just trolling. Really User yep. error. So, <laughs> so the troll, it's trolling me all these years because it doesn't work in my house. I love it. All right, well, never mind. Thank you. Or either that, Apple just fixed it when I asked them to. Thank you, Apple. Just remind yourself to ask us about it tomorrow. Yeah. That, I have to tell you something that is so, that is the fastest it's ever worked. God dang it, I can't tell you. I wait 30 seconds sometimes to have that thing open so I can basically edit that reminder. That's funny. I have, oh, I have checked my wallet. I have bring my stuff to work. I have everything. Remember your daughter? Oh, dude, I have (laughs) hundreds and hundreds of reminders. Do you really? Oh, yeah. For, wow! For everything in you're my like life. on like those TV shows or movies when someone's losing their memory, and then like their their that kid or significant other puts post it notes everywhere. That's what I am. This thing is a, this is really what that is. Well, I have it for two things. Oh what, yeah. Hold what on do on. you use your reminders for? Uh, to remember to take out the garbage. So I so basically taking the garbage out to the curbside. I have four reminders for that. Four reminders for that. I have it on my calendar, and then I have it in my reminders. Wow! Because dude, if you forget, then you're overloaded, oh, and you can't I understand. You can't load but them next week. Yeah. All I need is when I'm leaving my house, I see all my neighbors put their stuff out. I'm like, oh, crap, it's garbage day. Yeah. That's yeah, how I remember. But by that That's point, my I, fifth reminder. Yeah, but by that point, I don't want to get out of my car. So I'm just like, well, I don't, I, I can't trust that the wife will be able to do it in time. So Fair. I'll do it. Yeah. We all do it the night before. And then my other uh, reminder is to remind uh, myself to play D&D on Tuesday nights. Oh, that's see, now that's one. fun. I don't need a reminder for fun. Oh, I no, I, I do. Sometimes oh. I forget. All my reminders are just for the crap I don't want to do in life. I've never once used a reminder app. Yeah, Danny, we know. know. On there. We know, Danny. What When you've forgotten no, stuff or been late for something, it's like, yeah, let me tell you. When the people that in my life who go, geez, I forgot, have iPhones, I go, oh, if there was only a feature where you could remind yourself of things you didn't want to forget. See, I just use the alarm clock, and so if I have to go somewhere, like at 2 o'clock, I'll put the alarm and then put the name on it that way. I like it better. As long as you get there, Vicky, I don't care how you do it. But then guys like Danny, and I'm looking at you, Danny. I don't even know where the reminder thing is on my phone. See that same? You can just search for it if you swipe over. Yeah, I know. I can search search bar. But like, what am I going to do that? At that point, I'll just... Or yeah, literally you know, just say, yeah, hey, send a reminder. Send a reminder. Been, you, you have not been a problem in my life as far as remembering things, so why would you start using this? Yeah, look, it says, welcome to reminders. This is the first time I've ever yeah. opened it up on my How phone. How long have you had that phone? That's the same as mine. I'm over a year. Wow. This yeah. one. Yeah. Well, he's never used it. <laughs> Where is it, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. I typed in reminders. Oh, yeah. Whole thing. I deleted mine, apparently. Kind of cool. <laughs> you deleted your reminder? I didn't know you could delete. Some of their apps you can't delete. Yeah, it's no longer on your iPhone. Would you like to restore it? Woo! You don't need to. 
that I could share that with my wife. I just feel cool. Oh, yeah, you can share all sorts of yeah, things. You can great. make all, can make all these it. lists. It's also like shopping lists. I have tons of shopping lists. So if I go to like Costco, I have my entire Costco list of things I know I want to buy. That's I, the other thing I, I use. I just use notes. I use notes for everything. Notes is good, but it's hard for listy stuff because then you can't click off that you did it because you can click it. It gets rid of the whole thing. Whereas with notes, don't you have to like erase the whole thing? No, I just let it sit there on my phone with the 700 other notes that I have. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah know have if you that's... seen his emails, man? Come yeah, on. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. The, the, Steve's archival skills are a little suspect if you ask me. If you but, just yeah. keep everything, yeah. it might take a while, but you'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> I want that as a t-shirt. All right. We got a big question. Uh, what does Ryan Castle... And a lobster have in common? You're going to find out at 949 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. And now, the Ryan Castle question of the day. What's your Ryan Castle and a lobster have in common? Oh, man, there have been some summer days where I've looked like a lobster, that's for sure. Yeah. And you're loose, buddy. We got to get some butter. Yep, one person <laughs> says Steve prefers both soaked in butter. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's better with butter. Mm-hmm. That's, That's true. true. One person says all the meat is in the tail. <laughs> 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 and they get tanked daily. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Well, I'm pinchy. Uh, little, uh, little good news for you. If you're loving Red Lobster, they just announced that I they're know. adding a Mountain Dew margarita to their menu. It's like meant for the Rev. Yeah. And somehow, remarkably, that won't be the worst thing on the menu at Red Lobster. It's called a Do Garita. Yeah, how about that? Now, uh, the picture we've got is it's bright green. That's what you'd expect with Mountain Dew. Some red salt on the rim. And a poor, I, got, I guess this month, Red Lobster's going to be having them. Do you get the Cheddar Bay Biscuits with it? Because then I'm in. It actually looks delicious. It does look pretty wild. It almost looks like an alien drink with that lime bright green on it. It's, it's, um, I, I actually just want the biscuits, to be honest with you. It only costs you your teeth. Yeah, that's all. That's not bad. <laughs> Ryan Castle, if you want to hear a 12-pack, won't cost you your teeth. Just yeah. your soul. BJ and Miggs play of the day. This is why I could never be a, a, a garbage man. I, I would cause so much damage. And dude, the way they can operate the machine that picks up your your your, your containers are, is just insane. Oh, I would want to pick up random people with it. Yeah. I, you know. <laughs> well, I or probably I'd get that. my buddies. I'd probably get like a. There you go. Yeah. Start with the friends. Uh, yeah, get Munson and uh, J Mac drunk and say, guys, I'm going to come on my route. Get drunk. I'm going to pick you guys up and throw you into something. That's uh, that can't go wrong. <laughs> this is why I'm not yeah, a garbage. Yeah, that's man. that's probably why. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. If I file for bankruptcy, do I have to appear in court? That makes me nervous. Going to court is never something something that's easy to do. However, when you file bankruptcy, you usually only have to attend one hearing at the courthouse. Of course, I'll be there with you. And when you go to court, it's not before the judge. It's actually with the trustee or the trustee's attorney. One of the one of the things that's, that's critical in a bankruptcy is that you give your attorney and the court all of your all of your information. You list all of your assets and all of your creditors. That's what we're trading for your discharge is your true and honest uh, disclosure of your assets and liabilities. And so the court hearing is just usually about a five minute deal where you show up and, and reaffirm and, and swear that all the information you've given the court and your attorney is correct. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Have you ever received a call from someone claiming to be from the IRS, indicating you owe money, sometimes even being threatened to be put in jail if you will not pay? These scams come in many forms. If someone calls asking for money or personal information, hang up. If you think the caller might be telling the truth, call back to a number you know is genuine. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com BECU.